Welcome back to the Gentle Counselor podcast. My name is Crystal and I support mums through their inner healing and parenting journeys. For those of you listening right now, this episode is a little bit different because back in October of 2021, it was World Mental Health Day and I had some wonderful friends join me over three days to talk all about mental health and motherhood at the Aussie Moms Mental Health Virtual Event. I hope you enjoyed these conversations, which were recorded live at the summit. I'm also thrilled to let you know that we will be returning in 2022 and plan on making it even bigger and better. It may or may not involve a retreat. (laughs) Wherever you are right now, I hope these episodes find you when you truly need it. I would love to hear your feedback on these chats, so make sure you're connected with me on social media at The Gentle Counselor. If you'd like to receive an email once a month that is full of freebies, parenting tips, links to podcast episodes, beautiful affirmation screensavers, and other goodies, make sure you are signed up to my email list. I hope you enjoy this chat. (laughs) Hello, everyone. If you are joining us live at our Aussie Moms Mental Health virtual event, Thank you so much for being here and I have the pleasure of being joined with Roz today and we're going to be talking all about how to skyrocket your well-being through art and I'm super excited for this topic um, because getting back into creativity is something that I know I've been trying to be a bit more mindful of lately so I'm excited to have you here to talk to us a bit more so welcome Roz and can you tell everyone a bit about yourself and perhaps why you do what you do? Yeah, no problem. So, Crystal, thanks so much for having me. Um, This is just amazing being part of your gorgeous virtual event. Like, your lineup is crazy, crazy awesome. So, (laughs) thanks for having me here. Um, So, obviously, my name is Ros Gervais, and I'm an artist and art educator based in Sydney, Australia. Um, And I'm super passionate about art. I obviously love it if I'm an artist, um, but I love also helping other women to to make art and to also discover all the hidden benefits as well um, within art practice. So, yeah, so really excited. So what are you doing, Crystal? You need to tell me what sort of creative (laughs) practice are you doing? Oh, well, it's been buying cheap little, you know, $5, um, you know, paint by number things from Kmart. I am very much not an expert level. It's, it's really more linked to my process of like inner child healing, really. It's getting back to things I used to enjoy doing as a child um, and as a teenager. Like I used to be very creative. I used to um, write music. I used to make my own songs, play my guitar, like every single day for hours on end. Yeah. Um, and art, you know, painting and things is something I used to do a lot. And you, you just, it's really sad that like we forget that we're still allowed to do that as adults just because we're not yeah. children anymore doesn't mean we can't, you know, color in if we wanted to (laughs) so um that's really what it's been for me it's just remembering like you like being creative and like it's good to do it yeah that's exactly it because I think yeah we all just get that message that we've got to grow up and part of growing up means we stop playing no fun (laughs) I know yeah no fun for you only work (laughs) and responsibility that is all you shall do for the rest of your life (laughs) (laughs) woohoo Um, Yeah, so I had a little bit of that experience as well. So Mm. when I was growing up, I was always very artistic and very creative and I did art at uni, uh, sorry, I did art at high school and all of that. But then obviously, like you're saying, I had that pressure to grow up and Mm. to find a career that I would make money out of. So not too far from art, I ended up studying design and then I got a job in interior design. So that's how I started out, Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I had a whirlwind of a career as we do because we're all trying to be grown ups and trying to be mm. mature. And I even worked at a bank at one point and then I became a primary school teacher and I've done all the things. Um, but for me, and this is where the well being bit comes in, is that when I returned to art practice and I started to paint more regularly, like it sounds you're doing it, like you're doing a bit of this too, which is awesome. Um, that's when I actually felt like myself again. And mm, yeah, it just like, I'm sure you know with your background like how real and how not heavy but how amazing that is really to like this is why you know art is more than just painting it's self-acceptance it's knowing yourself it's um, being confident enough in yourself to send that message out into the universe and just say no I'm an artist and this is what Mm. I'm doing and this is what I need to do and this is what I was born to do so 
yeah so that was a huge journey for me yeah I can really relate to what you said about like remembering like oh this is who I am like Mm. this is actually part of me I really like doing this and Mm. I can yeah that's definitely like that shift that I had and also for me it was as a (laughs) mum being like, okay, I'm allowed to have my own pens. Like I can have my own paints and I don't have to do it with the children. Like I can, I can do, you know, activities with them and they can have their fun painting and we can enjoy that. But I'm also allowed to have my own things in my own space that are just for me. Yeah. I literally have a drawer next to me that has like all my pens. (laughs) I went and bought one of those like kid packs. And I'm like, this is for me. It's not even for my kids. (laughs) But that's that's completely fine. And I think, you know, like you were saying before, like more than fine, sorry, that's not not even the right word. But, um, you know, we just... With society makes us think that that's not okay, mm, which mm. is just so incredibly sad. So that is awesome because actually that's enough. I want to share that for me, for my my side of things as a mum as well, because I've got two little ears, um, art gave me that space to have something that was for me. Yes. And that was, as you're saying, like that's a big deal as well because we're also society also makes us feel like mm. we have to look after our children full time, like with mm. all of our energy, maybe we're working as well, but we need to give as much energy as we can to the children. It's all about the children. Um, but then we forget ourselves mm. and we're filling their cup from our empty cup. And it just, yeah. it just doesn't, it's not sustainable. And yeah. I think that's, that's the journey that I had with this. So that's yeah. why I'm back into art um, and really exciting to hear that you're trying this as well. Yeah, so it's, it's, awesome. it's only just been a recent realisation and I think it's because I've been on my own like self-care journey. I've been talking a mm. lot about self-care for probably the past six months to a year over on The Gentle Counselor and I did a like free workshop on it as well and one mm. of the tips of self-care in there was about being creative. Um mm. And I've been talking to a few friends recently that are very similar and realizing like, oh, creativity is like really beneficial for me. So I think it's just kind of come from that a bit. So Mm. what are um, some of the things that you've noticed with people that have started to incorporate, um, yeah, like being creative through art or whatever it might be? Yeah, definitely. So um, so within the art education sort of side of my business, um, I have online courses that are self-paced. Then I have my art membership as well. I've got a free Facebook group, et cetera, et cetera. So I associate with a lot of other people and have a lot of other sort of arty students that I work with. And their transformations have have been equally empowering um, and liberating as mine, but a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Um, so to share some of the stories, I'm going. I won't drop names, but um, if they if you're watching, you'll know it's you. But you, I won't say your name. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've got a gorgeous woman in what in my art membership, um, and her name is mysterious. I cannot say. So, but she was really really scared to start acrylic painting. So she's a really beautiful, soulful sort of a human and very spiritual and just absolutely gorgeous um she works part-time she's got two children she's pregnant with another little one as well so a lot of pressure you know to try and do all the things Mm. um but she had this urge to make art um and I helped her to get over that barrier and to actually start painting and so she's gone from being scared to just even start and now she's got all of her artworks up on a shelf in her living room. Like, oh, that's so nice. And you know, like, I'm sure you understand. Like, that is actually that's a big thing. Yeah. So, because she's publicly displaying yes. like, for whoever comes to her home her artworks. Yeah. And whether or not they're perfect, I mean, perfectionism is something else we can talk about. Oh, today. <laughs> yeah. You just reminded me because my <laughs> husband and I went and did one of those paint and sip things. Yes, and then yes. he was really excited for us to display them. So I love yes. how you brought that up because you've just made me think about that. Mm. There's like that sense of pride that you get. And I was yeah. going to, I was going to, I don't know if it's, oh, yeah. Am I, there's, there's a little plant pot that I made and that was an activity with the kids. Yeah. And I many times had to be like, no, don't touch. That's fine. When they tried to paint it. But it's like a little clay plant. And Is I was it like, behind I'm you? Put that Are on you my shelf. To it? Yeah, it's very tiny. It's like this I'm little trying to tiny. See it. Oh, to... hold on. Let me make my screen bigger. Oh, let me grab it. Oh, can you? <laughs> oh, super cute. We just, I'm going to display it for everyone. This is mine. No, I actually oh, was like really is. happy with my mate. 
it's beautiful. meant to be a snake plant because I yeah like mother mother in law's tongue that one yes that one yes, yes. <laughs> so you just I made me realize that. like oh yeah it is nice like <laughs> I, you get that little spark of light in you and you're like I'm gonna put you here and display you yeah. yeah and it's and it gives you that sense of pride like I mm. did that because it's it's more than um just sitting down and painting something so you've got to anyway I've got a big plan for this chat today I'm, I'm jumping ahead but I was going to say you have to battle your inner critic as yes. you're doing that yes because so we all have internally this like what mm. I call your inner mean girl so we all have yes. these you can correct me actually with your background and your training. No, but. no, we, we <laughs> talk about it um, as being in, in your inner critic and in one of the modules in my Gentle Motherhood membership, we give them a name as yes. well. Yes, oh, I like To it. kind of be like, oh, there's that Bob saying me, yeah. to me again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. And so for you to have painted that little piece, did you make it as well? Yeah, it was clay, yes. one of those clay things too. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. So for you to have constructed that and then also to have painted it, there is no doubt that you would have battled perfectionism to some degree yeah, yeah. and that your inner critic to some degree mm, and you would mm. have had to have brought them down, put them in their place <laughs> so that you could end up with something that you were happy with. So yeah. Yeah. It's huge to make something like that. You know, it's tiny mm. and little. It sits in your hand, but it's yeah. actually it's actually a really big deal. So yeah, mm. good, good on you. Oh, thanks. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying. You're making me think about it now, which is really good because mm. I probably did have some of that, you know, perfectionism going on. But I was also doing it with the kids, so I was also not wanting them to like yes, paint yes. it, which was also hard because sometimes you got to pick your moments where sometimes it doesn't matter what they if they you know paint on something but sometimes you, I'm like okay I actually really wanted that like I really yeah. wanted this thing for me um yeah. and then if I had that negativity come up it was like Shh, be quiet I'm having fun Leave me, <laughs> let me have fun and then I've never done like that was the first, I think that was probably the first thing I had done in such a long time yeah when I say yeah. long time I mean like literally forever yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. something I had decided to do yeah that's gorgeous and I think you know with the kids it's about it's about um I don't want to say in a negative way but it's about boundaries but it's yes, also about no, knowing that, that's your good. they need boundaries like yeah. that was something I was like this is for me I'm making this and you're allowed to do that yes, it's not yeah. about like oh I've set this up and you're not allowed mm. to touch anything it yeah, was like yeah. I'm doing mine here's yours yeah, yeah and we're yeah. creating something like Parallel play is probably like a better yeah, term. And you know, we're doing something side by side. Yeah. And that's still inclusive and it's still yeah. supportive. And children need to know that, you know, like yes. occasionally with my two girls, one of my girls would just go and paint on um, you know, my other daughter's artwork. Yeah. Like, no, 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 you actually can't do that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. That is their artwork. Definitely. And if they do that at school, that's not good. So you're teaching them mm. life skills, I suppose. Mm. So there you go. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're not being permissive parents. Yes. Boundaries yeah, yeah. are very much needed as well. So yeah. what are some of the benefits that come from, you know, allowing creativity to flow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so many. So I have a list that I've written. It's up here so that Perfect. I don't forget anything. <laughs> Um, and maybe we can unpack a little bit of, this, of it as well. So I've spoken a little bit about as well my my own transformation through art and then I've spoken about one of my um, members' transformations and then you'll notice as I go through this list how it relates to my journey and then that other member's journey and I can, I've can i got a few examples as well. But anyway, so I've got self-worth in there. So realising that your needs are valid, um, which is a really big one <laughs> um, because, you know, as I was saying, we always tend to our children and we give them what they, whatever they need, not necessarily whatever they want, but whatever they need, um, but we don't necessarily tend to ourselves. So knowing that your needs are valid and that you are worthy, so mm -hmm. that's a really big one. Mm -hmm. um, and then self-kindness as well and that links to the inner critic so trying to get rid of that inner critic and replace it with compassion for yourself so and all that positive self-talk as well as you're creating did you do any of that while you were trying to paint your your little um little ceramic piece yeah I think a few of my mother-in-law tongues tried falling off and so sometimes <laughs> it was like think of a different way to make it work and sometimes it was it, it still looks good without it Yes, yeah. So that's the self kindness, and just also yeah. realizing with art that it's about the process as well. So mm, yeah. you do want to get to an end point, sure, um, but 
there's a process there that is, that needs to be respected and you're on the journey and that journey might involve <laughs> a mother-in-law tongue leaf breaking yeah. and having to deal with that. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. We made it work. <laughs> Um, so the other things on my list was um, finding your voice. So mm. a little background story for me on this one was, um, and my I tell this story not to make this about me, but because it probably is common for people. So um, when I was in high school, I was incredibly quiet um, and I didn't speak up about anything much at all um, because I was so afraid of judgment from other people, from all of my schoolmates, right? So I had no voice. And from the, at that young age, right? And so art gives you a voice, no matter who you are, no matter your situation. You can express yourself through your art um, and you can, my husband's making fun of me, by the way. And, <laughs> and you can also, you can just sort of step into who you are and accept who you are as well. So mm. it's really, really powerful, um, you know, beyond just painting a pretty picture. You know, a lot of people think, that's all artists do, yeah, and if, yeah. you know, just making something pretty, painting something pretty, but there's just so, so many more levels. Mm. Yeah. It's like an expression. It's like part of you. It's, it's mm. also vulnerable sometimes to be like, this is something I've created, whether it might've been like a really emotional or sentimental piece, but mm. also like you were saying with the whole displaying aspect of it is, is it takes a lot of vulnerability to be able to do that as well. Yeah, definitely. And when people um, first dive into painting or making any sort of art, they don't need to go and take that massive leap, you know. Yeah. They can just paint to themselves and turn turn the canvas around, put it in the cupboard, but they're not allowed to put it in the bin. That's my only rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good rule. No putting it in the bin. <laughs> um, but you, that, that is a big it can feel like a big step putting something on display. Mm. So no one in my realm, none of my students are ever pressured to do anything like that. Um, yeah, so finding your voice and your confidence, self-expression, self-acceptance. So that means, you know, knowing knowing who you are. So if you're one of those people that needs to create, um, but also self-acceptance, um, just knowing that you're not perfect. Mm. No one is. Mm. Um, and it is okay and you're completely normal if you make mistakes on the way as you're creating an artwork, for example. And mm. same, you know, I mean, it applies to so many other areas of life as well. So yeah. self-acceptance on a few different levels. Um, and then simple, simple, simple benefit of art, but nothing but something that shouldn't be overlooked is how it's an excellent way of practising mindfulness. Yes, yes. yes. Do you do a lot of that? Yeah, I think um, if you can relate to being the kid that at school was always doodling in your mm. notebooks, but you were listening at the same time, yes, yeah. then practicing art is actually a really great way to um, keep your hands busy if that's what's needed. Like perhaps for some people that can relate to maybe a bit of neurodiversity, for example, um, or yes, just needing something to express yourself or, or be tangible or keep your you know, is it the right side that's your creative? You don't, you know, I always forget. Busy yeah, right while side you're creative. being analytical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the two can go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, so one of my other members, um, she's a nurse and she often does night shift. So she's like pretty, pretty tired, poor little, poor creature. And then she's also got severe anxiety. So oh, right. for her, she came into my space through my um, watercolour course, which is an online course, and she has loved every minute of it mm. and because it's it's given her the skills and the knowledge to be able to keep her hands hands busy. Mm. So it's sort of like what you're talking about. She, yeah. she, she shared with me that it's all about keeping her hands busy and her mind occupied with something that's right there. So yes. that's, you know, that's mindfulness all over. Yeah. Um, and then she could take what she learned and continue with that. And so now she paints, you know, weekly just to calm her nerves mm. and when she really, really, really. Yeah. Painted. And that totally makes sense because, you know, we that like art therapy exists. Mm. So some people in their ther therapeutic practice, and I do this as well with some clients, I've done it more with um, when I was a school counselor doing it with kids because. Mm getting them to draw pictures is a great way to get a lot of information but we forget that it's the same for us and mm. I know when I did art like in high school all of my artwork was basically channeling my pain at the time mm. um all my teen angst and all my mm. trauma that I was going through was channeled into my artwork and mm. so that was a way for me to process it in a healthy way too by using that creativity and yes. you yeah. know kids do that automatically 
It's mm. like how kids learn um, and process things through play. You know, art is one of the many ways that they do that. Mm. Um, and then if you really enjoy creating as a teenager, I think that links on. And then we just we just forget. A lot of yeah, us just stop it. doing it when, when we become adults, but we're allowed to do that as well. Yeah, and more than allowed, like I, I feel like we all need some sort of. Needs to be encouraged. Like yes, we all need to get back to being creative. I think it's mm. really innate in all of us, and mm. and it's not even. I, I I know that some people will think of it as like a hobby, but I feel like mm. it deserves a bit more than that. Even it's like yes, it's a hobby, mm. but it's also doing so much good for you as well. And so I yeah. love that you're talking about the benefits here so mm. what are some barriers that seem yeah, to be so in the way of people you know being creative and how I guess can they support themselves yeah so I love that because actually the, the first barrier that I wanted to chat about today gosh how do you know what I want to talk about today I want <laughs> almost like we planned this chat <laughs> um is people thinking that they're not creative Mm-hmm. or artistic so um right yes. I always hear that line yeah I'm not creative full stop yes. topic closed mm. I'm like that and that I'm sorry you're not getting <laughs> you're not off the hook I'm on your case so yes <laughs> so um I'm Ross is here bit... not accepting yeah, that Ross answer here, next <laughs> So I'm a little bit of a hippie. I'm a little bit spiritual. Um, so I believe we love that. that. We, I hope, I hope it goes all right. I don't want to, you know, bother anyone. Um, so I believe that we were all created um, and we have been gifted with the ability to create with our awesome, amazing and beautiful minds. So we all have that gift and so Mm. we were actually born to create so creativity I think so many people relate specifically to art um, which is great because I love art but it is not always just art so we create friendships we create beautiful families with family bonds we create gardens we create books we create music we create rhymes that we make up with our children like we are all creative and we have Mm. that power and I believe we also have a responsibility to use that we we need that as well so whether you're or not you're artistic I believe is a we can I think we can be born with a bit of an artistic streak specifically but other than that it's a choice so if you want to try uh, to try out art and give it a go and go on that journey that's your choice And if you choose that, I'm here to help you. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Yeah. And I think it's so great because um, for people that are wanting to explore this, like Mm. here's a great option with you to be able Mm. to do this. Um, Of course, you know, try it out yourself. But if you feel like you can't quite get into it or you're not even sure where to start, having Mm. some guidance can be really helpful to that. Yeah, and not to do a sales pitch or anything, but I was just thinking in preparation for today. So I offer a range of things. So I have an online course and my membership, et cetera, et cetera, and all of that. Please and do sales looks- pitch because I want you to tell everyone where they can find you for more. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say, say something then. I should probably put in a link or something. But anyway, I'm a bit disorganized. But <laughs> It's all right so because what- you will be able to come back to okay. the Facebook post and chuck everything in there. So whether you're watching this okay. live or as a replay, check out the okay. comments because Ros will come back and make sure it's all right. I will, I will. Um, so, yeah, so whilst I have those things on offer, it, it might seem simple so that I'm teaching people how to paint full stop. But like I'm saying, there's so many more elements there. And that's mm. why for me it means so much to have such gorgeous souls in my free Facebook group and also in my membership because I get to help them on the journey so it's not just a one-off I mean I do have one-off options but it's not only a one-off option like I offer more than that so that I can help with these transformations um, and help these women to nurture themselves you know it's it's all about that that empowerment side of things so Yeah. yeah so that's a big part of what I do yeah yeah that's so great there's so much more to gain from it I just I'm really excited to hear so share in the comments if you're watching this live or as a replay let us know are you going to now participate like what are you thinking are you someone that's going to start painting um are you going to you know take a quick trip to Kmart and buy a coloring in book are you going to get back into music or dancing like what was something Mm. creative that you truly enjoyed doing when you were younger that Mm. you're now thinking like hey I could get back into that 
or hey, I've always claimed that I'm not creative, but I'd like to give it a try because here's where I was calling me out. What are you <laughs> going to try? Um, so make sure you pop that in the comments because we're going to come back and have a look as well. Mm-hmm. So before we end our chat, Roz, is there anything else um, that you want to share with us, including wanted- where everyone can find you after your chat? <laughs> I want to share really briefly. Can I just wrap up um, with two extra points before I finish? Yes, yes, please right? do. So, yes. so to summarise the barriers, so I want to just talk about three barriers in summary and then how to overcome those barriers because I'm awesome. all about um, action and empowerment so one the number one barrier was that I'm not creative and I'm not artistic so we've spoken a Mm -hmm. little bit about that um so my three tips for how to overcome that are number one do a really easy art activity so I will pop in a link for a free watercolor activity I have that is not intimidating whatsoever it's about immersion in art and that's it Simple, simple, simple. So do a really easy art activity. Get started, okay? And then number two is a self-paced, low-pressure online course. There are buckets of online art courses out there. Courses sound scary. They're not really scary. (laughs) And then another, (laughs) what was that? Guidance. (laughs) Guidance, yeah, that's it. Um, and then another one was social painting. So do some painting with oh, friends, yeah. either in person, um, online, or even with your family, with the mm-hmm. kids, and just just get started and have a go. Give it a try. You know, marathon runners, people like Olympic marathon runners, do not just step out the door one day and run 42.2 Ks. They've got to train. Yeah. They've got to practice. They've got to battle their inner critic. They've got to overcome hurdles not literally because we're not talking about hurdles we're talking about running but <laughs> they've got to, you know if they've got an injury they've got to deal mm. with that and work through that so mm. it's the same with art as well um then briefly the two other barriers one oh, two sorry is i won't be any good so that's your inner critic yeah that's perfectionism mm. as well mm. um and perfectionism li- links a whole lot to socialization and that yeah and perfection. what is good Mm. like Mm. what is good art yeah you know I mean you can't really rate like you know teacher to teacher how are you supposed Mm. to put that on a criteria sheet like you know use all the colors drew a straight line like you know don't get me started on art you just can't (laughs) you can't rate it like that no not at all I just think that's a complete I I think giving gradings for art at school I can't conversation for another day (laughs) conversation for another day okay so to overcome um that feeling that I won't be good even if I try um three tips and I'm looking at my whiteboard over here one is lower your expectations for yourself um and allow yourself to play so Mm. I have a free um play session actually in my Facebook group number two this is really hard to do but I'm wondering if anyone would like to give it a try Paint some colour swatches with whatever paints you have around. So that just means like painting a circle or a square with your paint colours. Do it for all your paint colours and do it messily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I know, I know that there's at least one person watching this that's like eye twitching <laughs> at the thought of like not perfectly, you know, I, set you to, I, set you I the love challenge. that. That is that is, and I can see where you're going with that one. And I love that mm. tip. That's a good one. Yeah. It'd be interesting. And then you can, if you like journaling, um, either written or even you can do audio journaling as well. Yeah. You can journal that out and talk about, or talk to yourself about yeah. that experience. Yeah. Um, and number three was paint with the kids and just focus on fun. Don't mm. focus on the end results. Focus on the experience, which in art, we talk about the process. So, yeah. yeah. Joining in with them rather than just setting up an amazing activity that you don't even get to enjoy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like that whole Pinterest thing is a bit high pressure as well. Oh, yes. You know, Pinterest mum. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's it's fine like people can be however they want to be but it would be very stressful is all I have to mm. say and mm. then really quickly because I don't want to waste everyone's time number three the last barrier um is that that I hear people talk to me about is that they don't have time and they're too busy yes mm. um mm-hmm. and I'm mums sure- are really good at putting themselves <laughs> last on the list that's Thank you. That's exactly it. So we have no problem prioritising doing speech, like at-home speech therapy, for example, with our kids Mm -hmm. for 15 minutes every morning. Easy. That's definitely what we we do every single day because our child needs it. It's a need. Okay. 
but then where are we on that list? And mm. I don't mean that in a um, sort of self-focused way, but if you don't prioritise yourself at all. Yeah. You, yeah. You're, you're like if fun. clean the toilet is above mm. you on your list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So I feel like you should put art on your list. <laughs> Definitely. I love that. Yeah. Even and make it achievable. So we're talking about mm. on the kitchen bench, have a teeny tiny little um, like a shoebox with a couple of paints in there. They could even be the kids' watercolour paints, a brush, get a jar of water from the kitchen sink that's right beside you, paint a rainbow for five minutes, and that's it. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. The world's smallest little projects yeah. um, just to give yourself the gift of that time you know that's all about you and it's an escape as well it's mindfulness yeah. right there that's okay. so perfect I'm just looking at the comments and someone said um that they're so thrilled to be doing art again even if it's just 15 minutes a week it's so helpful and someone else has said that Roz helped me believe in myself again after having kids mm -hmm. and helped me to not be scared to face my fear of painting oh that's so nice who was that can you see who it is it's Nicole Oh, so you'll be able to go back into the chat. So I, I love that you've got your community of painters oh. here already supporting you as well. Thanks. I think that just really speaks volumes. Um, mm. We It's definitely having that thought of this needs to be part of my routine. Yeah. Like my husband and I were talking about this the other day because we're trying to like get back into like exercising and mm. he put in such a good way. He's like, you know, like you think about like your three meals a day, like your breakfast, lunch and dinner. And he was mm. like saying how we need to think mm. of, you know, exercise, like you just do it every day. It's just normal. And so then mm. with things like self-care activities, like painting, mm. you just need to think like, this is something I am allowed to do. I should be doing, mm. I could be doing. Mm. And let's, you know, bump that up on the priority list a bit more, definitely above cleaning the toilet. <laughs> And I think it's like often the, I think it's the perfectionist thing that also gets in the way because a lot of people think that it needs to be a really big production. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't need to be some amazing, huge thing. You don't need to go, you don't actually even need to go out and buy a million supplies. You yeah. Know? All yeah. you need to do is grab some of your kids something. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe buy, if you really want to buy a little sketchbook that's just for you. And then just paint something little. It does mm. not have to be epic. You can be one single leaf in the shape that your kid would paint a leaf. Mm. You know, that is totally valid. And you'll love it. If you're one of those yeah. people, you'll love just starting with something beautiful and small like that. I love that. I love that you're talking about keeping it simple because I think that was a, I'm realizing that was a barrier I had. Like mm. I was thinking it had to be this big thing. Like I would have to, as if I had to justify it, like, mm. oh, I better have like this big, amazing canvas by the end of it to justify like mm. me being creative and taking time to paint. Mm. It's like, no, it's not about that. It's just like the simplicity almost, of you engaging in something that makes, like feels good. And it's almost potentially a bit of self-sabotage. Yes. Because you're going, I can't actually start until mm -hmm. I have a canvas. So let me just see yeah. Yeah. online. Where do yeah. I get a canvas? Oh, that's the wrong size. They're out of stock. Hold on, I'll just look somewhere else. Yeah. And then you find it, and then you have to wait two weeks before it's delivered. Mm. So it's almost like you're creating a reason not to create. Yeah, definitely. I love how you're calling us out on that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <Yeah. laughs> There's no excuses. <laughs> Oh, um, I really enjoy chatting with you about that, Rose. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I'm glad. Thanks for yeah. having me. Um, so I will drop in, like I'll pop in some links on your page or wherever I'm meant to pop Perfect. them um, just so people can have a little snoop at my Instagram and Facebook and my online courses, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I'll be opening doors again soon to my art membership. Oh, that's yes. exciting. Yeah, so, so exciting. So my art membership's pretty, it's pretty simple on purpose. Um, so we do one painting a month and then they get access to a whole load of videos that are like a growing library of videos that take you through things like how to mix colours and colour combinations that work together nicely and things like that. I, I'm very, um, what's the word, receptive to the, my current members so I make yeah, sure yeah. that I'm building it properly for them so mm. if anyone would like to join my community they'll their voice will be really important as well 
Awesome. Sarah's just said she's tagged you in the post where you can add all of that. So thank you so much again, Roz, for joining us. I've taken away so much from this chat. Like you've really made me really even think about it a bit more myself. So yeah, I'm definitely so glad to be connected with you to have such an amazing resource through you with everything that you offer. So thank you so much again for taking the time to talk with us today. Pleasure. And can I please see a photo of your next artwork? My artwork. Yeah, your next artwork. <laughs> I'm holding you accountable. Yeah, well, it's hanging up next to me. Oh. It's not finished. Oh, it's a, it's literally like with your husband. It's literally a paint by number. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. Oh, you mean okay. the? Oh, I have to find it. Oh, I'll, I'll share it. I'll share later, it later, on later. Instagram and I'll tag you in it so you can see. Yay! Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the accountability. Now, now I'm going to be sharing artwork all the time. They're going to be like, "What is this crystal?" I'm like, Just it's my creativity. Time, I'm allowed to share. <laughs> Thanks so much, Roz. Pleasure. Thank you.